KWHE TV 14 Sports. Today we're here at beautiful Polly Lanes for the Lane Number One Open. Hi, my name is Scott Mitamura, and here with me today is Carolyn Coano. Hi, Scott. We had a great turnout today. We, we had some high games. We had two 700 series, a 748, and a 289 game bolt by James Kentering. He's on a roll. I almost hit that 300 game. It's we thought safe. that Potaholdo was going to be. <laughs> oh boy, I tell you. But ten in a row in the second round of match play. But you know what? He is our on number TV? one seed today, James Kentari. Hey, well, his keys today is to stay loose, feel the flow. You know, he averaged 246. He's really hot. Last week, he bowled three 300 games, two 800 series with five titles and his 289 game today. Ooh. Wow, he's feeling the flow, right? That's yeah, right. averaging 246 today. He's going to be really tough to beat for that number one position. Needs only to win one game. Seated at second today, we have Thomas Ching. Well, Thomas's keys today is to watch the ball speed, stay down. You know, he averaged 245 today. One of our Hall of Famers with 23 titles. Wow. Talk about if we get those two matched up for the tournament. Watch out. Wow. We're going to have a good, great play today. James had to knock off Chad Poas in that second round, 289 to 247. That's Incredible great. matches today. Seated at third, we have Jared Davis. Hey, Jared's keys today is to pick up spares, make the right adjustment. He averaged 215 today. One title, looking for a second title. Looking for a second title. Flying all the way in from Maui, representing the island of Maui. Maui boy. Hopefully does good today. <laughs> Seated fourth, we have Landon Lee Asierto. Hey, Landon's keys today is to stay calm, be relaxed, stay consistent. Average 213 today. First time on TV. Yeah, looking for his first title. Well, you know what I like about him? Yeah. He's in touch with his manly self. He's throwing pink. Oh, He's that's right. He's throwing our sponsor's pink. bowling ball today and wearing a pink shirt. Pink. So let's see if he does well today. Okay. Looking for his first title. See the fifth today, we have DJ Taylor. Hey, well, DJ's keys today is to keep calm, keep the ball right. Average 213 today and also his first time on TV. Well, he's our uh, second of two right-handers on the show today. And we're pretty dominated through qualifying by the left-handers. But we got two right-handers on TV. That's right. Let's see what happens to the shot as the game progressive advantage could go to the right-handers. Who knows? We might have a new champion today. We might. Should be great action. We'll be right, after, right back after these messages with our first TV match. And here we are at Poly Lanes for our summer season, Hawaii, Hawaii TV Bowling. We're here at Poly Lanes for the Lane Number 1 Open. It's got me to wear here with Carolyn Kawano and Shirley Kato. Hi. And here we go with our first match. We have first up DJ Taylor, and he's going to be challenge, challenging Landon Lee as Sierto. DJ does not have a current average, but his lifetime high is 221. He has three 300 games. He kind of lost that ball on, the, on his first delivery. And he also has an 800 series, 836, and this is his first time on TV. Oh, first time on TV. You know, it's kind of rough. Stop and go. Camera lights on, lights off. <laughs> right. First shot. Okay, he's out of the way. Let's see if he can spare it up. First time on TV. Yeah. No problem. Spare. Covers a spare. And here's our first look at Landon Lea Sierto. Landon's currently averaging 217, which is his lifetime high. He has two 300 games, high series of 768, and another first timer on TV. A nice pink ball. Pink ball, pink shirt. Uh, he's uh, I I very in tune with our sponsor today, which is lane number one. And yeah, what is that ball he's throwing? He's throwing the Pink Panther. <laughs> <laughs> that's the ball you had before. I saw you throw it. The pink ball. Yeah. It, uh, Landon also has a pink booty. Ah. Uh -huh. Shoe cover. I didn't know they make it that color. Well, yeah, gets the spare. two bowlers start out with spares. Hey, 
Well, Landon had games of 210, 232, 204 for 646 series. He went on to defeat Daniel Toyo Oka Lim, 209 to 192, and then went to defeat Richard Brissett, 213 to 189. Well, Landon sends his special thanks to his significant other, Tamara, his son, Angel, mom and dad, Wendy and Alan, grandma, Josephine, his boss, Don Yonamini, and the Fort Shafter staff. He is employed at Fort Shafter Bowling Center. I know he said that uh, he was supposed to go into work today. Oh. oh. I think 2 o'clock. Uh, so oh. Don, uh, he's not playing around, but uh, he's showing you proof he's on yeah, TV. Yeah, he is on TV. <laughs> <laughs> TV's pro shop is uh, located at the Fort Shafter Bowling Center for the latest bowling balls and accessories. See Ray Elaine or Chris LaBoy over at V's Pro Shop. Call him at eight four seven zero nine five zero. That's V's Pro Shop eight four seven zero nine five zero. Well, DJ sends his special thanks to his son, Braylon. He is in the Army. He lists his major bowling accomplishments as the Tennessee State Singles Champ and placing fourth in the PBA South Region Oak Ridge Open. Wow. Yeah, that's a pretty tough region. There's a lot of good players out there. So you know this fella can bowl. Mm -hmm. Well, DJ had games today of 241, 193, 203 for 637 series. He went on to defeat Jeremy Ledette, 204 to 185, and then went on to defeat Ryan Nishiro, 224 to 148. Okay, no strikes yet. Let's see if he gets one now. Ooh. Comes in high, leaves a 3610. Well, it doesn't seem like the lights or the TV cameras are bothering them for first time on TV. <laughs> I think they're worried about the ever-changing lane conditions. And they did change pretty fast. Today. Oh yeah, they sure did. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, chops the 3610 open frame for DJ. It was a pretty stark contrast. Well, I started out late one and two. Mm -hmm. Playing the five board. Second game on nine and ten, I was playing the twenty-five board. Wow. <laughs> so th they're a little bit different. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> nice strike there. There's our first strike on TV. And uh, let's see if it holds true. You know when the when your opponent gives you an opening, and there's a replay with our. Lipstick cam. Let's see if the opponent doubles. The man is playing about the um, 10 board on the left side. There oh. it is, Scott. There's a big double. You must like that. That's huge because uh, DJ had that open frame. Right. Now that uh, that gives him, it's about 20. He's got a pink cup. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. He's all pink today. Pink, pink. Hey. Oh, DJ. Oh, he's all right. He's come back. Early in the match, and you don't want uh, your opponent to get too far ahead. Very true. I think whatever jitters they may have had. It's gone. Yeah. <laughs> They're in a battle right now. Mm -hmm. uh, 24 pins down with a strike here. Cut it down to just 14 pins. Oh, a little high leaves the three pin. Kind of didn't come off his hand really clearly. Wasn't really happy with that shot. Well, today's this is a singles tournament. Uh, there's a lot of 300 game incentives on the line. 
First of all, the Rad Motorsports is still offering that free exhaust system for import cars or trucks. For the first 300 game bowl on TV, if no 300, then the prize will be awarded to the first highest game bowl on TV for the summer season. And the slate is clean right now, so the bowlers need to post some big scores up there. Well, we might get some today. Yeah, I think so. Uh, other incentives, Lane 1, our sponsor today, is offering $3,000 for 300 game bowl on TV and $300 for qualifying and match play rounds. 900 Global offers $1,000 for a 300 game bowl on TV. Columbia Ebony Hammer Track offers $500. And Hawaii TV Bowling is offering $300. So the wow. money's to be made on TV. You just got to get there. Yep. Tease everybody. <laughs> okay, the Clock and Trophy Shop. They're your one stop award headquarters. If you need custom trophies or medals, engravings, plaques, ribbons, Lower clocks or radios, please call the Clock and Trophy Shop at 845-0900 or check them out at 214A Sand Island Access Road. Now Lana gave DJ that open. Well, no gave the lead back. This. Yeah, gave the lead back. Let's see now. Actually, he's still ahead by nine pins. Nice shot there. Stays down. Wow. Wow. It breaks, right? Ball didn't finish. He's looking a little confused. It, it, it looked like he threw a pretty good shot, though. Uh-huh. This might have gone through the break point. You know, we, we kept play off of uh, lanes five and six, right. so they're probably a little tighter, you know, a little bit more oil than... Some of the other lanes that they have come off of. Mm -hmm. So, historically, you need to watch your ball speed on the TV pair. Something that maybe speed. someone the first time on TV might not realize. Right, mm -hmm. right. You know, the practice pair is probably so much slower. And Definitely. The, la the last two lanes that uh, they had match play on might be a lot slower. So, uh, Something to remember when you go on TV. Mm -hmm. Besides the transitioning. Transitioning, uh, maybe a little the extra adrenaline too. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, we had a. Okay, we had a alleged uh, foul light infraction, and um, DJ did the right thing. He held his position, and uh, Mr. Azumi. Check on it. And Glenn said it was two okay. inches. So for all you uh, league bowlers out there, that was a good shot. See, he was a good three inches mm -hmm. away from the foul line. If the foul line ever goes off, you hold need to hold position. your position. If you don't, burden of proof is on yourself. If you fall off balance and don't hold your position, uh, it's a foul. <laughs> but in this case, we heard a buzzer go off. Yes. But the, the telescore did not reflect it. So oh. might have been a cell phone or something. I don't know. <laughs> DJ seems to like the right lane. Still looking for the right line on the left lane. Well, historically and... I just bowled on lanes five and six this past Friday night here at Poly Lanes. And you'd think I'd have an advantage bowling in this house, knowing the lanes? Well, nah. I didn't bowl very good in the tournament <laughs> today. We noticed. Uh, but his, you're sitting back here with us. <laughs> historically, um, lane five and six, they, they play differently. A well, special thanks goes out to Roz Okubo of Peace With Him. She provides the massages to our champions and second place finishers every week. Let Roz's magical touch provide you with inner peace for better health. Call Roz Okubo of Peace Within, 